Today is Sunday. It's currently 1.45 and we got back from San Diego a week ago. So this past Monday. So we definitely jumped back into life post Ramadan, which honestly is kind of depressing because you're just on, at least for me, I was on like such a high and like loved every minute of Ramadan. And I was of course excited to get back into my routine, get back into like drinking my coffee and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just like really sad to get back into life after Ramadan and like jump back into everything. And I don't know if anybody else was feeling that, but I definitely was. So we had a nice little weekend in San Diego. It was so much fun. Um, But yeah, we're definitely like back to reality now. I actually had to drop Muhammad off at the airport this morning early because he's going on a work trip his entire week in Florida. It's usually me that I'm like, bye, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm like going to visit my family or I'm traveling here. And this is his first time like leaving me and it so funny like I was taking him to the airport instead of him taking me but I'm really proud of him and excited for him and I wanted to go with him but he's not gonna have any free time it's like in a training that he's basically like not leaving the place for like five days so it wouldn't be um a trip that's like us getting to like go out and do things I had breakfast this morning I made a little smoothie for lunch this is like not lunch but I don't have any food in my house it's almond coconut milk vanilla protein powder collagen strawberry banana banana peanut butter. It's honestly really really good. I am like someone who either is really in the mood for smoothies or is really not in the mood for smoothies. I was definitely in the mood for one today. I took all of the Ramadan decor down yesterday. A lot of people asked me why I don't keep, there's a bug in here and it's driving me insane. Anyways, a lot of people asked me why I don't just leave a Ramadan decor up like throughout the year because there it's things that it's not just Ramadan, they can like be in the house all the time. I kept a few things up, like the cutting board over there that says Alhamdulillah, and then one of the Razum little, uh, why can I not talk? I kept this arch sculpture up because it definitely goes with the vibe of everything. I just like to switch it up so I don't get bored. One thing I'm really glad we did was have someone come clean the house right before Eid because we had, I don't, I did not film this or share it with you guys, but Muhammad had a bunch of friends over for an iftar party here at our house. And then after that, we had someone come clean the house and then we went to San Diego. So it was just nice to like come back to a clean house. And I told you guys in one of my Ramadan vlogs that I used a service called Homaglow. And I actually discovered it because I worked with them here on YouTube. And that's where I found like my favorite house cleaner. She is so good. So I used them towards the end of Ramadan and I'm so excited to partner with them again on today's video. They're a five-star house cleaning service and it's a really great way to find local cleaners in your area. So what you do is you go onto the Home Glow website and you can search for different cleaners in your area depending on the day you want them to come clean, the time, and then the duration. I searched for people in my area. I put the day and the time and then however many hours I wanted them to clean. And then you can give more information on what exactly you want them to clean and you can also read reviews to see like other people's experiences So I just picked the person that had the most amount of really good reviews People also leave photos for their reviews and the cleaners on there are all background checked So you can definitely feel comfortable with them coming into your home mom and I both like to keep the house pretty clean Alhamdulillah, he's a very clean husband, but there are places where we both just can't get like baseboards and fans and like behind nightstands and blinds and she did all of that if any of you guys try home glow and you like it you can sign up for their forever clean membership which saves you at $30 an hour on future cleanings and you can also book unlimited cleaning starting at $19 an hour and that's backed by home glow's happiness guarantee if you guys want to try it you can take home cleaning off your plate this spring using home glow head to homeglow.com slash amanda saw it or you can scan the qr code and get your first three hours of cleaning for only $19 Okay, 
So we're going to the grocery store. I haven't been to the grocery store. Beep. Because Muhammad and I both park our cars in the garage and they're close together. So I haven't been to the grocery store in so long because I always Instacart. I'm actually leaving in a few days to go to New York. It's gonna be me, Lauren, and our friend Yasmin Jirali, which you guys saw in San Diego. We're all going together. Hala is gonna come stay at our house while we're gone and Mohammed always asks her to come to watch Simba. But And I told Hala, I'm like, Hala, you do not have to come to our house. You can come check on him and make sure he's fed, but you don't have to stay. She's like, no, I honestly love staying. I'm just gonna make sure she's very spoiled and very well taken care of while she's at our house. Not getting that much stuff, just like stuff for breakfast and turkey sandwiches. Like some snack stuff for Hala. These are so good. I know Hala will like these because she likes dark chocolate. I've bought these chips twice now and I haven't tried them. Cheddar sour cream. So we're gonna try. Delicious. Those potato chips, I should have not gotten because they're so good. I basically ate the whole bag. You guys need to try them. I also love the jalapeno ones. So I got half of that. I got some tortilla chips because I have some sauces I made. I got cherry lime poppy because I know she likes this one. These are some dark chocolate covered raspberries. I decided I'm not going to cook tonight. Got some Power Crunch bars. Strawberries. Fruit roll-up snack thing. Healthy ones. Eggs. Some stuff for turkey sandwiches. Apples. Blueberries. And these are the best pickles ever. The Grillo pickles. I'm going to put all of this up. trying on some outfits for New York. I want to try to get all my outfits together tonight so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. And I really like this dress. It's from Naked Fashion. It's white and navy blue striped. And then I have this brown bag. I think I might wear this at night, honestly. Okay, another outfit. These gray Aritzia pants. This is not the right shirt I'm gonna wear, but my other one's in the wash. And then this trench coat, cause it's gonna be cold in New York. And it's like, I was planning on bringing spring outfits, but it's like 60 degrees is the high. Okay, I actually like my trench coat with this better. I needed some color. All of my outfits are so plain. I don't know if you guys can hear 
the construction that's right there it's distracting me but i was saying i'm actually getting my colors done so there's this person called or this company called the color guru and a few years ago i gifted this to my mom where you like send in pictures of yourself and information and they send you a color card and it's like what colors look best on you and what makeup looks best on you so i did that and i'm really excited to get my colors back because i know i want like i love wearing color i honestly just don't know what colors look good on me i'm really excited about that but hala's about to come over she's bringing us some thai food i just ordered it she's gonna pick it up and we're gonna have some dinner tonight very thankful that she's coming over to keep me company while i wait for hala to get here so last night we had a really big thunderstorm and our power went out we were lighting like every candle in our house and I forgot that I got these candles. So they're from a small Muslim owned business called Healing Culture. You guys, these candles smell so good. They sent me one, two during Ramadan and I like completely went through them. They have the most stunning packaging. This is the one I finished. It's Basil Bliss, it smells so good. This is the box it comes in, it's so pretty. I'm gonna light another one. This is Amberwood Glow. I know they have an Oud one, I wonder if they sent it to me. Midnight Wishes is kind of like a, it reminds me of like a very fall scent. It wasn't my favorite. Basil Bliss is my favorite. Oh, this is Oud Bloom. Oh, I'm gonna light this one. I love anything Oud. Like, look how stunning this packaging is. This is not the best lighting, but we're gonna light that. We're gonna light that one, Simmy. Simba, stop scratching. Simba. Thank you, Sam. Hala just got here and she picked up Thai food for us. Ignore everything on this back. Slurry the catch all space. Okay, pad thai with chicken. <laughs> We're having a little girls' night since mm -hmm. Mohammed's not here. I'm so excited for them too. Can I get you a drink or anything? Um, it's okay. I'll just have my water. Thank you. Okay, you're not gonna like this one because it has eggplant in it. Whoa. The yeah, rice yeah. one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And then this is the pad siu with chicken. Okay. Should I get plates mm -hmm. or do you? You know what? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll call you guys another time. Bye. It looks so good. I hope I know, it's it actually good. does. And what's in the other one? I think, oh. Oh, is one's probably my extra. Rice? Oh, no, this has already my extra. And then. I think it's extra wine. Oh, I got some veggie sprinkles. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this, rice? This is okay. rice. Honestly, that Thai place we went to that one time was really good. I don't remember what it was called. The one we went to, like, our yeah, family? Yes. Yeah, um, um, we went with Nadine and Hanada. Yeah, that one's like close to Pachugo. It was really I don't good. I the name of it. No, either. Um, do you like lime and peanuts? Like, yeah, you can put it on. Yeah, all of this together. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like making a big one. Let's nice try now. Mm. Good. That's the eggplant one. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I just tried the chicken, but it's very good. What was the place like? It was really small. It's kind of like a hole in the wall place, mm -hmm. but like that's how you know it's gonna be good. good. Let's tell them about the first time that we spent the night together. Literally, that was like, I think the reason why we were both craving I know, food. oh my god. Oh man. So Hala came, it was when I lived in Dallas, and Hala was coming to visit Dallas for something. I was coming because my mom's friend lives in Dallas, and I was dropping off my brother to like go spend the weekend with them or mm -hmm. something. So I was like, I'll drop him off, and then I'll go visit Amanda. Yeah, so Hala drove from San Antonio to Arlington, Arlington, which is how many hours? I think almost five. Well, because we left on a Friday, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of traffic. So it took me like almost six hours, I think, to get there. Oh my god. Or no, it was like a little over five hours. And then she had to drive, drop her brother up there. Then you drove to Richardson, where I live, which mm -hmm. is like another hour yeah, or so. An hour. And that night, we like... Mm -hmm. Picked up Thai food. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Please have some of all this too. Oh. Um, we picked up Thai food from Noodle Wave. If you guys know that place in Richardson, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was just so. It was like kind of late, and we were like just like eating. I got there I super super late. I think I got there like by the time I left like my mom's friend's house and mm -hmm. made it to Man. I want to say it was like 9:30 p.m. 
I remember when I picked up the food. Or no, you picked up the food, right? I think so. And it was like so late. Like we literally had dinner at like 10 p.m. And yeah. this was also, I think, our first time hanging out. It just me and alone, you. Aside from like the first time I met her. Yeah. Which was like a blind date. Literally. And then that was like my first time like hanging out with her. And it was like I got there at 10 p.m. So late. Mm -hmm. And I was like, now what do we do? Like we're going to spend the night. I don't even know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> but it was a lot It was of fun. so much fun. Throwback. It was. Okay, I'm going to try this one now. Okay. This is Nadine's favorite really? dish. Really? Pat mm -hmm. I think that's You can put lime on that one too if you want. Yeah, I love lime on everything. Yeah, me too. Mmm. Mmm. Which one's better? I feel like this is my comfort food, so I yeah. always love pot thai the most. Yeah. I'm gonna put some lime on here too. Mm -hmm. I wanna do I wanna try these though. The, yeah. Did you try them? Mm-mm. Do We're doing sauce? a mukbang right now. I know, which I, by the way, hate mukbangs. Really? So I feel like a hypocrite doing like this. I don't like to watch people eat. Yeah. It makes me so hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, Hal and I were craving something sweet, so here at Sonic it was my idea. I'm a very bad influence Hallie's on her. Idea. Oh, is this the? I think you will order up there okay. at the other window. Like originally, I just we wanted a fun drink from yeah, Swig, Swig, and then closed. Swig was closed. So then we wanted a fun drink from Sonic, and then I was like, why would we get a fun drink? When we can get ice cream. Oops. Hi, um, just one second. What are you getting? Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the turtle truffle nut blast, the mini, but ask them if they can do chocolate soft serve instead of vanilla. Okay, you're gonna do a mini? Yes. Okay. That's what it's called. Can we do one turtle truffle nut blast? Um, I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, one tur turtle truffle nut blast. And then can I do one mini uh, Oreo Sonic blast? Do you want a drink? Mm. That's it. Have you ever had a malt before? Yeah, but I don't know the difference between a malt and like a malt is like there's like a pow like a it's like a powder like that they put it it's like a i don't know something we used to make malts when we were younger I, honestly i had them what is that one fast food chain called a and w no it's like the hardy's but the other the american Arby's? version no like in arabic it's hardy's uh -huh. no well, like in jordan i mean it's like hardy's and here it's the same logo but it's called something else what is Oh my god, now this is gonna be. No, that's not ours. Eee. Sorry, I should have told you before you cut up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then. She walked to... all the way over here and then I said no. Oh, Carl's Jr. Oh, I've never been there. Yeah, they had malt there. And I just didn't really know the difference. Like, they were good. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know what the they difference was. They don't really was. taste that different. Yeah. I used to come to Sonic all the time in high school. Same. Well, because it's like right next to our middle school and high school that we went to. Mm -hmm. So we would literally just walk there after school. Really? Yeah, that like, was like a Dairy Queen for us. Oh my God. I think I've been to Dairy Queen like five times in my life. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, we like, used to eat Dairy Queen. I we just were. went recently to try their Animal Cracker Blizzard. Uh huh. It was really good. But yeah, even on my like, I think my Sonic app, my name on there is... I think it's still under Adam. Yeah, it's under Adam because oh, now Adam funny. walks there after school, so he just uses my account. Yeah, we used to go there all the time. We used to get blizzards. And I remember, because you know when they give you a blizzard, they put upside oh, yeah. down. And it's like a heart attack every time. <laughs> and I remember my mom asked them one time, she's like, so what happens if you drop it? Oh my God. <laughs> now, I think they have to give it to you for free, right? Yeah, they said they give it to you No, we had like, um, we would just go to Sonic all the time. Because it was right there, and now there's like a bushes there, which I don't even think you guys have bushes. Mm -hmm. We don't have bushes. No, bushes is so bomb. Well, only one thing off the bushes menu is good. Yeah. It's just the buffalo tender rolls. I'm like obsessed oh my with God. them. Yeah, Adam, we just walked to Sonic all the time, but I would always get the ocean waters. That was like what my favorite. What is ocean water? It's like spray with coconut and blue raspberry, I think. Mm. And it's just a, like a really refreshing 
very sugary like drink. they have drinks here that like swig has yeah yeah and i think it's cheaper here yeah i think wasn't nadine saying that yeah yeah because you can especially now that they have like the dirty drinks or whatever mm -hmm. so you can add cream to them it's like swig yeah that's basically. why i thought of it when swig was closed yeah. i was like anyway second best yeah yeah, but I wanted to try the swig cookies because I haven't oh, had those before. So Wait, you haven't had any of them? Mm -mm. The ch little cho the mini chocolate chip cookies, they're not they're not really anything special. Like they're okay. They're just like but the sugar cookies, they're so good. Like, yeah, see, okay. I've never I've only been to swig once and I wasn't drinking caffeine at that oh, time. Yeah. So I think I had like one of their frescas. Uh -huh. Which was still really good, but yeah. I was just, I needed more. I need like a dirty Dr. Pepper yeah. or something. <laughs> Sounds so good. You know, I haven't had Dr. Pepper since like high school. Damn, I can't relate. Dr. Pepper is like the one thing that I struggled to give up. Yeah, I was addicted. I used to have one every single day. It's so good. It was delicious. Okay. Oh. Forward to pick up. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Throw the stuff in that and all your blessings? Yes. yes. Alright, here it is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, this is really big, actually. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What? Uh, what? I don't think they put chocolate in there. I think they did. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it does look chocolatey. Wow. Oh, you. Taste test. Yeah, let's do a taste test. Mmm. Good. Yes, you can try mine if you want. Uh, thank you. Have a good night. You too. So I wanted mine to be chocolate, and they said that they don't have chocolate soft syrup. So then I told them to just add chocolate syrup to it. So. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm. You want to try mine? Yes. Yeah. Here. I'm gonna stop right here. Do you want my spoon? Oh, I don't care. Here, I'll take mine out then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I you love how it. they put like all these little mini. I know they're like little yours. caramels. Mmm. Mm. That was really good. Mm -hmm. I love yours it. Too. Yum.